Hello everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com here. In another video, I did a correlation analysis of weight versus height in a sample of data of Olympians in the London 2012 Games. In this video, I am simply going to show you how I got the output. Okay, first, weight and height, they're both, notice they're both continuous as opposed to categorical. We want Pearson's correlation. Analyze, correlate, and then select bivariate, meaning bi meaning two variant variables, so two variable analysis, weight on height. Now we want to transfer both these into the box variables because that's the analysis we want to perform on those variables. Now we can click it one at a time and with the arrow to shift them over. Or, once you get the hang of that, and if you've got loads of variables to shift, easy ways to, just as in other sim similar packages like Excel, use the shift key. So, I've clicked height, I press keep the shift key pressed, I press wait, and now they're both highlighted, and I press the arrow that make, moves them all over in one go. We'll forget the options for now because we're trying to do the plain vanilla um, analysis and we know SPSS has so many options that you can easily get uh, modelled over what's going on so let's forget about the options. Correlation coefficient, the two basic ones are Pearson's and Spearman. Pearson is used when your basic idea is your, when your variables are continuous we use that and when they're ordinal we use Spearman. Right? Ours is, we've said at the start here, the continuous we're using Pearson. Forget about the tests there, leave everything as it is, press OK, and here we have the correlation, weight on height. That's the, this is the first table, and we in the previous video I do an interpretation of this. Okay, second table and final table. I want to do weight on height, but over genders. So I want to split the data into for male and do weight and height, and female weight and height. Know, so see if the correlation is similar or different. How do I do that? I click on data. Oh, by the way, the menu bar in this output window is same as the menu bar in the data window. It doesn't matter which one you work from. Let's work from this one. Data. I go to split file. I've got options here. Analyze all cases, which is checked. So that's what we've done. Compare groups. Well, I want to compare males and females. I could also organize output by groups. So I have a separate table for male, a separate table for female. Compare groups. because I can compare groups by gender. Sorry, I did that before, so that's why it was in there. You will see this. So I click on gender here, and I shift it into this box. Groups based on. Groups based on gender. Can leave all that same. Now we'll click OK. And then we'd redo the analysis, the correlation. So we do analyze, correlate, go bivariate. Notice that everything remains the same, remain the same because it's remembered from previously. So we just press OK. But when we press OK, watch what happens to the box. Can you see now it's actually got like two separate boxes by gender male and then it's got separate correlation entry for feet women like so important to remember that when you go on to do the analysis if you want it to do it if you want to kind of gather up the genders again we want to unsplit it it's often people forget to do this me included and then then you run it and go oh damn I have to kind of rerun it again. So you go to transfer, um, sorry, data, split file, and then you click back, analyze all cases. All right, and then when we do the analysis again now, if we bring back the regression, uh, the correlation table, it should be the same as before. The small table. There you go. All right. Now that's straightforward. I know that some of you might need to know the code for this, the syntax code, 
So to get bring that up, when you go to analyze and correlate bivariate, instead of pressing OK, which will make it run, you press paste. And pressing paste, you get the command. There you go. And these commands, you can you can touch them. It doesn't harm anything. If you wanted to do it on different variables, just replace height and weight. Just type it straight in here. Height and weight. Remove these two and put something else in its place. This is useful if you've got loads of variables and you've got to keep you got to run things um, different. You know, just changing odd things here and there. But you don't want to be click clicking and pasting. It takes forever. <laughs> To run it from this window, highlight which part you want to run, which is all of it, and press the play button. Okay, you don't get a beautiful bark aria playing, you just get this table. And so we're done. Okay, so if you're interested in the interpretation of the correlation, uh, look at, watch the other video.